yeah, you know, all the teams out there are really good. As you can see over the weekend, I, I think probably 80% of the matches, whether it was ours or anybody else's, were down to 20, 30 pins, really one shot. So, you know, really any win in that event and any event's a good win because these teams are all so darn talented. But, uh, yeah, it's always special when you can take down one of the top five or so teams. But, yeah, they're, they're all so good. We'll take all the wins we can get, that's for sure. Yeah, that was our goal heading into the weekend was having a chance to win and you had to be in the top four to make that bracket. So you had to be within shouting distance was one of our goals and we did that and uh, did a pretty good job of staying in contention. So yeah, just navigating a lot of challenges throughout the day, but the ladies did a really good job, you know, staying tough throughout the day, shooting spares very well. And the big thing is making good shots, you know, when you're making good shots out there, then we're communicating with each other very well. We can get ahead of the moves and, and gain some pins that way. Yeah, it's really every day is a new day. And uh, as you can see out there is uh, on the live stream this weekend, you know, the lanes play different every day. And throughout the day they change quite a bit so you kind of go in with an open mind and do the best you can to navigate that and that was just kind of the game plan be open-minded and not get you know wedded to one strategy and we did a pretty good job of that as you mentioned four pretty good wins and we kept ourselves in contention heading into Sunday yeah it's pretty awesome to see I think that was our second ever all tournament team the first one was in Arkansas our freshman year and this one in Texas and able to get our first MVP uh, it, was, it was pretty special you know because we were kind of locked into trying to make that top four and, and bowling Nebraska in a very tough match so she threw that first strike in the 10th to give us a chance uh, for both and uh, we really didn't even know what was going on with the other four or five that were close to her in the standing so it was kind of you know we got some rough news that we didn't make the top four you know losing out on the tiebreaker but then we got some good news that she uh, was able to get the MVP so it was a lot of emotions there but really happy for her and to see her growth as a bowler and a person and uh, it's really great to have her aboard she uh, she makes us all better that's for sure yeah, it was really cool to see that, you know, um, her step up. She was very really steady on Saturday, really grinded out some tough 180, 190s on Saturday to help us win some close matches and then shooting that big score on Sunday morning to help us in the match uh, against Nebraska and give us a chance to make the top four was huge. And I think that's been the cool thing about this team this year. You know, different folks have stepped up in different moments and uh, our roster is very deep. Uh, so it's, it really showed there in that match, and it's, I think that's a really big thing heading down the stretch, you know, looking for, you know, postseason aspirations. It's very important to have, you know, your whole roster clicking and able to do that at different times. So it was really fun to see that. Yeah, it's uh, two weeks we have to prepare for that, which is nice. So, you know, obviously a lot of good things are happening the first few events in the, in the spring, but a lot of good things to work on, too. So we got a lot of notes, so mostly little things, which is nice, but uh, just crossing our you know, T's and, and dotting our I's as we get ready. Some individual work and some teamwork as we prepare for, for Arkansas, getting our equipment ready to go. And I think we're looking on a pretty good path right now, and we're always excited to go back to Arkansas, a great venue and, and a great tournament.